42. More like the meaning of strife, am I right? Uh, let's see. Obviously. Left, right, they're even in the right directions. So just gotta make the blue go there. And that's already a good start. Boop. Two out of four, two out of four. All right, pretty sure that's that part's gonna be correct. I don't know about that part. It might come from back there or something. Maybe not though, this part's white. Is this part also correct? Left is diamond, right is triangles. Yep, easy. Just need to figure out how to make that part white. Are you coming out of the side of this thing? You are. If I shoot it that way, it breaks that one, which is bad. Generally speaking, it's a very good, not bad thing. Or a very bad, not good thing. Uh, huh. I need blue to reach there. Is blue coming from both sides at the same time? That's red and blue. Oh, sorry, that's green and blue, and that's red and blue. Yeah. Both of them give out blue. Okay. That makes this more doable, I guess. Because I can just split them. Or try. Uh, all right, that's the blue part taken care of. Now I pretty much just need to... Wait, where's X? There, oh. Oh. I was wondering where, where X was. Because X, X was just solved the entire time. It's yeah, I wasn't registering the fact that's in the middle. Okay. Sure, I can change its location slightly. That's not a big deal. Okay, now I need to figure out how to get red and blue to just both go right here. I think I have a decent number of tools to use. Hmm, feels wasteful, but we'll see. Could you not break that, please? You know what, I can work with this. I see what to do. Yep. Every variation solved, just like that. So you shoot across the entire map and join with the red, so the red's loop-de-loop -loop here, then makes it to this blue, making it white. And then, this one already was blue, so that's all it needed. I just needed to make it so it didn't get in the way of the green. Hmm. There's always a- I'm always caught off guard. Every time a puzzle solves, like, weirdly early, I'm like... What? What? <laughs> I'll spend like 20 minutes on something, then one of them will be over in like 60 seconds, it feels like. Because it's just so obvious. Okay, so RGB on the wall. How? Oh, because they're all three different symbols. I was gonna say, like, they're all in one wall with no mirrors around them. How the hell do I get the three colors? But no, that's uh, it's a three-way sequence. Okay, so it's gonna bounce along the ceiling and along this wall, and there's no way to change the course because it's a completely linear path. So it's a matter of, of changing which one is coming up here in the first place each time. That's the puzzle. Left is blue, middle is, is green, right is red.
Meanwhile, red also has to go in a few other places. Okay, so... Let's do... Red first. Nah, uh, let's do blue first. There's only three. So, blue is diamond. Blue has to go there. 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 Oh, white. Okay. It does not make it there. We can send blue straight through here. Let's see. It's going to be more complicated for X because these are two different colors, so they can't be they can't be a linear sequence. Is there even a spot to redirect a, a white into there? Is it diagonal? Yep. Green white. I think that's the only applicable spot. Mm, white. Could be. Alright, so for blue, here's the first diamond. Creating a white beam. I need to figure out how to get you up there. Maybe just splitting it, or is that created an, there's an intersection? Alright. Goody. Where else could I redirect green? Nowhere. There, that's all three. The blue at the back of the stack, and the one on the roof. On the wall. The one that goes through the roof. Across the roof, whatever. Okay, that's blue. Because you still hear the stuff moving every time I right click, or right, middle click, all around the background there. So this is me in diamond mode. Doesn't matter because none of these move yet. I'm definitely wondering if one or more of these should be ones that switch. I don't know. I'm in X mode now. Alright. Which had no effect on this puzzle. So now, how do I redirect these things to make X work? First of all, green has to get here and there. Blue and red are not a problem because they're shooting directly into those beams. But also, the thing that goes up here has to be... Green. Which is currently a problem because I've redirected it so that this goes straight in here. Something about this has to change. Like that or something. So, it was blue. so diamond is still solved, but now when I put it to X mode, it's doing this. This could work. Green could be what I redirect through here. Which is what I'm... Yeah, green's supposed to be up there. So you're yeah, you're previously on left mode. Now you're on straight mode. Green. So green is solved. White needs red. And also green has to go there. Green has to go there and there. Somehow.
How do I fix this? Okay, so blue has to get there. And green has to get there and there. Right now blue's shooting into a wall, basically. Which is kind of okay. on something but I think this is this idea feels like a dead end at the moment doesn't it I'd imagine that whatever goes to this is probably the central canon of all this triangle triangle same color XX same color blue blue same color so it's a pretty clut it's a pretty clear cut case of like whatever is up on the wall is whatever's supposed to be going through this middle thing, and it's the same color. No additional uh, details. Except this, which is that when it's time for green, this has to be white. But aside from that, nothing else actually comes here. It's just the central color. Huh. They did give me all this though. I should probably make be making that a split. Because then it comes back down. Because I was like, well, we have to send it through here, but also I need to figure out how to get a secondary source of the color, right? How do I deal with that? But I can just make it come back via the back. And then I can redirect it to wherever I need to go. So we're in green mode, which is the central one. Where are all my goals here? So green has to go there. Seems easy enough. And that has to have every color in at the same time, which is crazy. I'm probably going to want this to go in different directions. So that's probably a good fit. Because then when a different thing gets put through it, it'll go in different directions at different times, so I can redirect it accordingly, hopefully. Right, so we're in X mode. So you and you both need it. Uh, do I need you anymore? We'll see. Four out of five. Four out of five X's. There's that. And that. I just need red to go there and we're done. Hmm. This is gonna be another three-way. Diamond on the left. There's diamond. It's white. We're good. X. Gotcha. Alright. So I've made X happen. But in the process of making X happen, I've completely dismantled diamond now. Let's see about that. Which one am I on? Diamond. Okay. Okay. Left. Diamond. You're on... Central one needs to be blue. Uh, how am I going to get both of you? Well, it's, it's going to go out of the back, right? So just... Send you through. Goes up and around. Blue becomes blue. Comes out of the back. And now it's spinning over here. So I just need to tell you where to go. Diamond, X, triangle. <laughs> okay, so this was definitely the key to this level. Central, so that triangle and that triangle are both accounted for. Just need to deal with the other triangles. So these two both need to have reds in them. Seems fixable. Is that it? Did I just do the whole thing? 
Reds are in. There's a lot to parse here. All right. Sometimes the three-way solutions can be really satisfyingly, like, uh, obvious in retrospect in a way. Where you look at the finished thing, and you're like, "Oh, look, there it is. It's all there." But when you're in, the, when you're in the middle of untangling the wires, you're like, "I am going to have a meltdown." <laughs> oh, I lost in the bottom right corner. I lost the tracking of this environment before I left. The one that tells you how far, how successful you are. Normally, that's how I tell which one I'm currently switched to as I walk here. But then it went, right there it went gray. And it started telling me what's required for the next puzzle already. Not really that noteworthy, it's just the first time this happened, I think. I kind of keep track of where I am in the sequence by watching the bottom right corner in that moment. So I noticed that they just vanished. But it's universal. Me clicking these affects every puzzle in the entire game. Uh, period. No matter where I am. Hi, Psycho Wall. How you doing? Okie dokie. Just climb this again. <laughs> yeah. I can see the whole puzzle from here. Not, not very well. There's a wall over here. If one of these was over there, I could stand on top of it and solve the entire puzzle while standing on top of it and just have like a nice no moving puzzle. All right. So, two diamonds, six X's, two triangles. That's a lot of X's. Why is it? Oh. Uh, the X's are mostly those greens up there, huh? Okay. It's a lot of greens. A lot of greens. Most intuitive way to try to solve it would be to loop it around the, the outside, but this these two bottom corners aren't even panels, so you can't loop it around that way. Hmm. That'll be interesting. The first thing you would try to do is shoot it this way. Uh, like, like, boing, 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 boing. But you can't do that because that's not a panel and that's not a panel. And also this one just doesn't have one at all. You also can't shoot them from this way because there's no mirrors in the floor under the, under the greens. That's going to make the pathing of the process very interesting. Okay. It is, is green necessary down here? Yes, it is. Yeah, we have two white. Okay. So we have two white down here. That one has to be solved at the same time as that one. So in that one, green still goes up. Ah. So green always goes up. Green always bounces around and, uh, to, up there to some extent, because that's also a green right there. Okay. Huh. I have five of these, which is just terrifying. That's terrifying. All right. Trying diamond is left. Triangle's right. So something like this could be useful in solving those guys at least. Maybe. Yellow. Heal. X, X. Ah, that's a bit of a confirmation that I'm probably right. The fact that when I put it in the forward mode for X, both of those are currently solving the X's down here. Okay. And I've already solved those two, so I guess next next thing in the process is probably for me to try to figure out how to solve green, which this might work. Hmm. It's the top part that seems easy. Other parts are oopsie. 
more confusing. Although if I don't need these, I could just be like, ha ha, massively wasteful. Look how many steps it took for me to make that one basic thing happen. <clears throat> but that might be okay. I don't know. Seems like a lot of parts to use in one little step of the process. But it, it currently solves the problem. Now all I need to do is make the combined beams come down here. And get those guys. So we're currently on left. We're on diamond mode. So I need that and that to come here somehow. <laughs> yeah, about that. Easier said than done. Maybe. We're in left mode right now. Ta-da. And we're in right mode. We're in right mode, red doesn't do anything, right? Yeah. Just needs to be redirected towards that. That might cause a problem in left mode. Oh, I know it doesn't because the beam doesn't reach it in left mode. Okay, and that's one step of the process. Also, I'm out of things, so that's not great. <laughs> it's probably not the solution. So I need to make the opposite color turn around. So that's red. I need that color to get there. The one that's currently being used up there. Is problem. Similarly, I need that yellow to get here somehow. Somehow. There. Yellow has to get there. Hmm. Is there a trick I can perform that makes these things come back down when I want them to? Like making one of these be the three-way splits? Three-way switches? Make it do something tricky that way? The issue is it'd have to some somehow come out, but I'm currently shooting up into those directions in both cases. Which is problem. There's no prism this time. They're like wings. Still, I think I'm most of the way there. Well, I don't think I'm willing to compromise on my idea to shoot them straight up in the first place. Like this. At least when they're in that mode. I, I think this is good still. I like this network. The problem, I think, is that they go... Yeah. Let's save. Just because I think I might, might change a lot of stuff and lose track of where I was if I mess up too much. Hmm. Let's take these guys out. I'm curious what happens if I turn those into these. Let's see. That's middle mode. Left mode. Right mode. That's interesting. That makes the beam coming out of these white. Green solution still works. Teal solution still works. It's like when I'm in a right mode, 
I'm trying to solve you and you. You don't matter. Hmm. When I'm in, I'm, it's coming out of the right side of each one. So it's going up and coming out of that side of this one. Then it's coming out of this side of that one. So I can redirect the output of this to go to there. This is currently coming out of the right. So I can redirect to there. Got it. And left should probably be symmetrical. There we go. That was the one change. I knew I was onto something. Yeah. Because X is all over the place, but left and right are just that guy and that guy. Just the one symbol. So that means the one, well, one of them can be the input and the other one can be the output. Instead of trying to come up with a crazy system in here that makes it all work. Let's look at it all. Can I even fit it all on the screen at once? Kind of. Boop. 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 Yeah. Is that the exit? Let's do this. Looks like a train station. It's chaos out there, oh my god. Playtesting Oscar? What? <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what that means. KNG. Oh, these are people. These are the credits. They're the playtesters. Okay. I'm like, I. Did I get a. Was, is Oscar my score? <laughs> I do like looking at them when they're solved already. It is just kind of pleasant. I do think the game looks better with the reduced brightness. I think the sheer level of brightness the game normally has just kind of makes it hard to look at. Like, look at that nice, dimly lit room with bright red lasers everywhere. Like, that's just a nice color balance that you have to customize your way into, basically. Well, there we go. This is Rethink 2. This is... I've now played two of the four games. There's Rethink... Rethink 2, Rethink Evolved, and Rethink Evolved 2. With the release order being Rethink, Rethink Evolved, Rethink Evolved 2, and then Rethink 2. So I skipped from game 1 to game 4, kind of. But this game was... It's weird. Like, that, that the release order is the order their narrative ties to, but there's so little narrative that it's hard to care about what order those happen in. But, but uh, this is a mechanical sequel to the first game, so it made sense to play them back to back because the mechanics are what we're playing the whole time. So I, I think the evolved ones will be a departure, although I don't know in what way exactly. So we'll see that when I get to those. But thanks for watching like always, guys, and I'll see you next time.